Our next presenter is Giuseppe Vinci. His title, High Dimensional Graphical Models for Neural Connectivities. Hello, I am a statistician, and I have been working on the analysis of neural data for more than three years. Statistics and mathematical modeling is my passion and my work, and I spend most of my day by writing formulas on my whiteboard in my office, and formulas that, that try to explain how the brain works. Our brain is made of billions of cells called neurons, and neurons communicate with each other by producing tiny but powerful discharges of energy that we can call spikes. And these spikes are produced over the time for anything you do. If you walk, if you move your arm, if you talk, if you think. So you, you can think as the brain has a very intricate network of neurons that exchange information. And my thesis and my research is about explaining how the brain works, how the neurons communicate. In few terms, uh, my research is about understanding the neural connectivity. Understanding the neural connectivity can be extremely useful to improve human life. F for instance, in my thesis, I'm focusing uh, on the visual cortex, and the visual cortex is the part of the brain that processes all the images that you can see. And understanding the neural connectivity in the visual cortex can be extremely useful for engineers to develop new bionic eyes. A bionic eye is a visual prosthesis device that, um, that can send signals, artificially, artificial electricity, uh, to the visual cortex to help blind people see, even blind people since their birth. And, but there are other applications that involve the artificial electrical stimulation of the brain. And, uh, and therefore, they require a, a very deep and good knowledge of the uh, neural connectivity. Uh, these applications are, for instance, uh, applications that can help people uh, with Alzheimer, uh, Parkinson's disease, or uh, um, deep depression, panic, and also uh, people that might have had some uh, spinal cord injuries. So I am really happy uh, of my research, of my thesis, and I will continue to work on this in the future. And I'm very happy because I, I see it as a, as a bridge between mathematical statistics and applications that can improve human life. Thank you.